glad to be back sitting here um, with our Monday morning podcast at Oasis. Uh, hopefully you were a part of our services. I recognized yesterday, not only am I on vacation for several weeks, but a lot of you are on vacation, so hopefully some of you are catching this uh, via the internet um, and staying in touch with what's happening at your church while you're off, hopefully in, in cooler places. Um, I guess uh, I came back just in time for the one teens this week, and I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm not. No? No. What? Okay. Um, anyway, there are lots of things going on at Oasis that uh, I want to draw attention to. Uh, Pastor Mark said it yesterday that we have an ice cream social coming up. Yes, we're saying tomorrow night. What time is that? 6 30 it starts. Uh, we're right out here in the, uh, in the uh, breakfast area, the place where you eat breakfast at, uh, you your treats in the morning. So, right out there, we're going to have uh, a bunch of ice cream toppings. In cups, so come on, eat, bring yourself. That's all we're doing. We're yeah. we're couples, we're, we're talking with, with each other, praying out. And so I hear that the elders and the pastors are serving ice cream. Well, I have the elders serving ice cream, so we're going to let our pastors uh, intermingle with everybody and talk and do that kind of stuff. The elders are excited that that will serve ice cream. So uh, they, they, they're pretty excited about it. So. Excited, yeah. I guess that's one word. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I want Mike to bring you my ice cream. Uh, maybe we'll have Mike be the, be the, be the waiter with the... Primary influence with the unit praise yeah, team. So, okay. Anyway, so that's coming up. We have camps coming up. Uh, again, I, I talked to you a little bit about that yesterday. Um, children's camp, I want to say thank you, first of all. Um, just about uh, $4,000 was brought in on the special offering. Uh, and I appreciate that um, I, I, w- uh, way to be uh, Oasis, and I appreciate that that money will be used to help offset the cost of camp for um, for every kid. Um, and so I'm excited about camp coming up. I know the students are doing their engaged ministry opportunity. Um, and if you have a, a, a student that's in the 7th to the 12th grade and they've not talked to Mike yet about what's going on, you definitely want to get a hold of him uh, and talk to him about that because that's going to be a a, a unique opportunity um, of serving for a week. Now, I'm not so excited about them staying here for a week. Um, I will be bolting my door. Absolutely. Okay. You already got the black bolt. It's good to do. So just try and get in here. Yeah, and, and for your moms and dads that are worried about that, uh, Mike has, uh, has got a, 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 a packet coming home and explains all the details about uh, the who, what, when, where, why, and how of the week coming up. Um, it is going to be a great opportunity for the kids to get outside of just Oasis and, and go out and serve uh, our community and then at the same time in the evenings have some great times of games and, and worship and uh, that. So uh, I'm excited about that. It's going to be a long week. Um, it kind of dovetails right with Children's Camp, but it's uh, it's kind of what we do here in the summer. We're, we're very busy. Um, uh, some of the things I want you to put on your calendar that are coming up is um, uh, we will be spinning up our mission team that's going to be going to the Dominican Republic in November this year. Um, so that's been a slight change. Uh, a few years ago, we went back in November. People have asked me, well, it'll be nicer in November. No, it's a tropical island, and it will still be hot in November. Um, and so, uh, again, if you want to go to the DR, the very first step, obviously, is you have to have a passport. No way around that. Um, you're going to see probably this week information about some deadlines um, and some commitments and some meetings that you have to attend in order to go to the Dominican. Excited about that. And in August, uh, come back in a little bit in the summer, a Leadership Summit, um, which is an opportunity. It's a two-day event held out of Stonebridge Church, one of our sister churches. Um, a great opportunity for you to come uh, and, and, and invest in leadership for yourself and invest in leadership um, what I hopefully would be in whatever job um, that you hold, and also your volunteer hours here at Oasis. Um, so it's an opportunity, again, I'll be asking um, some specific people to, that are in key positions of leadership if you'll join me. Hopefully our elders will be joining us, and again, okay, some of our small group leaders will be able to attend that. Uh, certainly our pastoral staff and our administrative staff will be there. Um, that day is in August. So if you need more information about that, you can again look up on our website, um, www.oasisuma.com, um, or you can go to the Global Leadership Summit uh, webpage um, and you'll get more information about the speakers, et cetera, et cetera. So it's right here in Yuma. We used to have to drive to San Diego to go to that. Um, I prefer San Diego, uh, the weather, I prefer getting out of town, um, but I also prefer sleeping in my bed. Right? So. Um, that's coming up in August, and uh, you know, and the next week is Father's Day. 
uh, June 21st, and uh, Pastor Mark will be leading us and uh, helping with some family dedications. Uh, those are going to be happening in third service. Uh, and so if you have not had your family dedicated, uh, and uh, we don't baptize infants here, we dedicate them. Um, there's a scriptural reference to, uh, that children are to know the Lord in personal relationship before they're baptized. So we follow that practice here at Oasis Church. So we don't baptize infants. We dedicate them and their parents um, to uh, bringing up their kids in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Um, so if you've not done that, we would love for you to call the church office and get on our list. Um, probably by Wednesday or Thursday, uh, we type up some certificates and et cetera, et cetera. So if you've not done that, I'll be doing that this Sunday on Father's Day. Um, and then, uh, I think, uh, actually, after taking a week or two off, I'm going to be up uh, speaking and continuing um, our series that I began before I left. But, uh, Mark, I was really encouraged about the fellowship uh, message. Uh, I, I'm glad that you said it, that uh, the best place for fellowship to happen is within small groups. Um, you even said that, that small groups will be quickly upon us. In fact, we'll probably start our open enrollment in July, believe it or not. Um, so we have a small group leaders meeting, um, and then we ask everybody, okay, if you attend Oasis Church, we ask everybody to be a part of a small group. Um, and the reason is, and Mark covered it best yesterday, it is the primary place for us to get to know one another, to grow in relationship with Christ and with one another, and to be spurred along, as he talked about. And, uh, and that passage that when you use where it says that we're to spur one another along, it is actually, um, the, the passage actually means to um, to dig your heels into somebody's side, much like you spur a horse. Uh, and that's what it means, to, to encourage one to move forward in their relationship. And the best opportunity for that to happen. Okay, hey, I love the ice cream social. There's going to be about 100 of us coming, and we're going to have a good time. But the best place for this to happen is going to be a small group ministry. Um, and I will say it. You're going to hear me say it. You're going to get used to me saying it and probably grow tired of me saying it. If you're not part of the small group ministry at Oasis Church, you are missing the primary vehicle for fellowship, discipleship, ministry, evangelism, and worship. Um, that you're missing the five functions of the church um, if you're not involved in small group ministry. Now, we're going to try uh, a few things different in a small group, and I'll talk about those later on. Um, but you really need to make it a priority of finding any night of the week um, that you can be a part of somebody's small group, uh, plug in, um, get to know some new people, become a part of a family. That's where church happens, let me tell you. Uh, because we're, we're a big church. I've said this, it's hard for us to see that in our services, but we're a big church comparatively to a lot of the other churches in Arizona, and you simply will not know everybody that attends our church, but you can get to know a few other people that you meet with weekly um, at a small group. So, uh, Mark, you did a good job, Mr. Yeah. No, I mean, I tell people that all the time. It's the Holy Spirit. That's... That's what it is. So he did a good job for you. He did a good job. <laughs> he so he always does a good job. <laughs> I'm glad that you know, I appreciate Mark and Mike and the leadership while I was gone. Um, they've done fantastic. But the, the sheriff is back. Okay? Right. Uh, the, I think that they're already mourning that. So, uh, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next Sunday as we celebrate Father's Day together. Hope to see you tomorrow night, okay? Um, and we'll have some ice cream together. Uh, again, I prefer um, the, what do they call it? The strawberry and the chocolate? The, the, the Neapolitan. The Neapolitan. Well, you never know. Maybe yeah. we'll, uh, maybe we'll get a bucket of Neapolitan. Okay, good. That's what I prefer. Okay, so maybe, you know, uh, if you haven't already given your request to Mark, you can you can uh, email him at mark at oasisyuma.com uh, and tell check, him. I will check those on Wednesday. What's your favorite type of ice cream? Check those on Wednesday. All right. We'll see you guys on Tuesday or Tuesday or Sunday. Um, have a great blessed week. Bye.